Yo, what's up, world? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Kilara Comedy. I'm Kilara Sen, aka Pink Unicorn, comedian from Tokyo, Japan. I used to be depressed in the hikikomori, studied abroad at HBCU, historically black colleges and universities, and I am a Japanese woman. On this channel, I am sharing my voice on the mental health, feminism, and diversity from a Japanese female's point of view. Today, I'd like to share a few tips which may help you live this year a little bit more easily. You know, we've spent these long pandemic years and yeah, I've been shocked to see a lot of news that celebrities got positive on the COVID test and Omarion became a variant! He's saying, I'm so cold! Oh. Hi everybody, this is Omarion. I am an artist, not a variant, not a variant, not a variant. Anyway, by this pandemic, you may be beat more or less. My mom was a king of Godzilla. How repeated rays had me down for more than 10 years, and in the end, I became hikikomori. Just in case, hikikomori is a Japanese term to mean people who don't work, nor study, and stop everything in English, which is known as a comedian. And this is my very first time to share the five things which really helped me overcome depression. But before moving on to the five tips, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you like this video, don't forget to like and share. Number one. Setting a goal of a three seconds future. Whenever I tried to take any action after the age of 17, I used to feel like inflaming ashes inside my heart. I was always blaming my past self, but at one point, I started thinking about a tiny future, like three seconds future. Like, let's turn over to the right three seconds later, thinking in bed, and three, Two, one, yeah, I did it! Yes, I achieved a small goal. Next, I made the duration longer. Like 10 seconds later, I'm going to fart. 10, 9, 8, 4, uh, yes, I'm done earlier than deadline. And at this moment, my self-esteem skyrocketed! Anyway, in this way, my self-esteem grew. Also, I learned a very important thing. There was, there was a future that I could work on or change. Number two, being likable. Yeah, I know it might sound opposite to the general idea that more attentive, easier to get depressed. But in my case, being isolated made me just keep comparing myself with the ideal myself. It led my self-esteem so low that I wanted to hide. When I just started as a Japanese style comedian, my mentor at the time told me to copy likable people. By following this advice, I grew my fans little by little so that I could get even mosquito fans! I was kissed by a mosquito. No! Again? Oh, I'm beloved. It helped me grow my self confidence. Number three, staying away from Japanese media. Being normal is Japan's national religion, and the Japanese media is the bible of it. The norms are always defined in the Japanese media, like you graduate college at 22 years old, or at the very latest, 23 years old. Start job hunting in the same black suit to show you are not intending to disrupt the older. Girls expire after 30. Girls must look up to men mentally and physically. Be the same as your next person, then you are normal. What? Are you mentally ill? You are the effective! 
etc, etc. As long as you are comfortable or doing well with these values, it's fine. But once you get off track, you'll soon be labeled as a dropout and you judge yourself so too. Especially, I had behaved as a good student following the rules outside, so subconsciously I was pressured to follow this common sense to be Ichiba. Then once I couldn't follow this anymore, I'm bad! I'm bad! But the truth is, most of the social common sense are made from men's perspective a long time ago because they've been in the power and authority. So what do they want younger generation and women? To be easy to control. Marriage is women's happiness. My happiness is a big fart. <laughs> Not only in Japan, but anywhere in the world, we sometimes need to stay away from media and the social media and listen to our inner voice carefully. Number 4. Calling Care Bears My Bays Yes, I have three brown bays. They totally look like brown from the app line, but they are not bears. My Days. <laughs> they listen to my stories, gaze at me gently, and absorb my tears. Have you ever dated such a perfect man? But seriously, conversations with them are self-talks. So my mindset was rewritten by their warm words. Kilara, you are amazing, genius, artist. Are you single? <laughs> Honestly, I'm so sorry. I hope you can find your the one <laughs> like me. Number five, working out. Needless to say, physical health connects to mental health very directly. But according to my experience, here's a quick note about working out while feeling depressed. Firstly, make sure to have a growth mindset. My case, I was breakdancing, but could hardly grow my skills. I started well, but didn't grow just because my self-image was failure. It can be a vicious circle. So please be reminded that you will be better as long as you believe you can be. So my unicorns, those are the real five things I did to overcome depression. I applied them more seriously after I started doing comedy professionally. Now I think my biggest turning point was when I changed my perspective from past to future. And when I started to have the image of a better version of myself. You can make the future by this moment. Grow better, fart better. <laughs> Thank you very much for sticking with my video and the channel. I hope you enjoyed this and please don't forget to subscribe and like and share and I really really hope this video helped you live a little bit easier this year 2022 and don't forget that I'm hosting my own show Japanese Whiskey World on Decanta TV so just go Decanta TV and see subscribe to this channel too yeah japanese whiskey are like women older more expensive all right my unicorns see you in the next video we have a great day great night and great fart <laughs> <laughs>